keep the good work up. And before I pass you the mic, this reminds me of, Cheryl reminds me of, of a quote by Dr. Martin Luther King, where he says, darkness cannot drive our darkness. Hate cannot drive our hate. Only, only love can do that. And I missed my other part because darkness cannot drive our darkness. Only light can do that. And each of our honorees here today have exemplified that. So just want to say congratulations to each of you. And congratulations to you. Thank you. And I was trying to get her to shorten it. And um, because I'm just honored to be here with all of the honorees and the folks who are here. I mean, I called your house late the other night because I needed help. Our community needs help and the sheriff is always there. Can't say enough about educators, my AKA sisters, I said sisters, not sure, but my sisters. <laughs> and I just have to tell you, I was dressed, I had some really cute shoes to put on today. <laughs> But um, I'm gonna tell you, like Mom's maybe said, and this may be over many of you all's heads, I know, um, Judge, you probably know what I'm talking about. She said, these shoes may not go with my dress, but they go with my feet. <laughs> and, and I have some work to do today, because we're talking about the state fair, and people are over there in the building. But Brown's talking about someone lying in state who couldn't attend at one time. So thank you for the work that you do. And, and I was really feeling good and my ego got to me. Because yesterday, 24 hours ago, someone was telling me that the best judge on the Supreme Court was Clarence Thomas. <laughs> Worst, the worst was Katanji. And um, I had to get off the phone really quickly. So I was kind of bad, so I came and I saw all of you stay, and I got really happy. I said, they're gonna stay to the end because it's me. That, that was my ego. And then I saw Ken Marlboro, Justice Ken Marlboro. I said, they're here for him, you know. But anyway, whatever the reason you stay, you stayed and just know that I do what I do. I've always wanted to be a journalist. I wanted to tell those stories. And I will just tell you a little story that your story is probably laughing. I know she was laughing about it because those of you who knew the Honorable Eddie Bernice Johnson, she could be a joke. And I was the first one as a journalist to put out that she had transitioned. And I said she was eight, nine years old. This is Mike, okay. There were people, now I'm from the Negro press. They didn't believe me. You know, you saw Wikipedia and everybody else saying she was 88. And I was saying she was 89. Y'all were questioning me. I, I had to be wrong, because who am I but the Negro press? Now, it was her family that before she passed who said, we want you to put it out first. And I already knew because I used to say, you know, you know, you always changing your age on people. But, and, but she had it right. I had it right. Then the Dallas Morning News, someone you may know, Roma Jeffers and Catrice Hardy, you know, they call and say, people are saying 88. I said, what well, let people say? Well, if you check the obituary tomorrow, if you check some of those Wikipedia reports and some of the other ones, they have changed it. And I say that to you, and where's Al? Um, oh, right in my face. Uh, oh, the glasses don't help. That didn't tell you they don't help. But now uh, that's what says about the press. Why I do what I do? Because somebody has to get it right for history, and I just ask, that, and I know she's laughing. I know she's laughing, she said, cause look at them, because a lot of people said, oh, she ain't doing nothing, and you say that about a lot of politicians, you have 
not a clue what they are doing. And you are going to see it now. You are going to see the stories about the Honorable Eddie Bernice Johnson. History will be kinder to you. They will be kinder to you. They will be kinder to you because we are not being kind to one another. And so I just leave you with that message that we got to show love for one another if no one else does. If someone comes to you with something negative, you know, you don't have time for it. Just like they say, faith and fear, love and hate. And when you spread negative stuff about people, that's hate. And that's not what we do with I Messenger. And it's I Messenger media because we're all the same. I